Power Ranger here to save lives. Watch out, there's a bad guy. <laughs> Can you please stop calling me daddy? It makes me really uncomfortable. This is why I think we should start seeing other people. I know there's a 35 year age difference between us, but I truly believe that love has no age. Brittany, I'm your uncle. I don't think we should talk like this to each other. Are we just going to keep tiptoeing around the fact that we locked eyes during the condom demonstration in health class? How'd you get my number? Y'all hear that? What is that? <laughs> what you see, Pluto? <laughs> Talk to me, Pluto. Talk to me. It's an asteroid. <laughs> it's an asteroid and it's coming for Earth. Well, y'all might as well just let that thing hit. <laughs> uh, y'all is not letting that rock hit my best friend. Well, you're not going to sacrifice yourself, are you? You right, I'm not Earth. You're going to have to get hit. I told y'all she fake. Y'all don't let that thing hit me. I don't know about y'all, but I'm about to move out the way. Saturn hit it with your ring or something. Now you know I'm engaged. I can't do that. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Who want to play Simon Says? This is no time for Simon Says. Mars, I bet you can't play. Who can't? You, Simon Says, move a little to your left. And I did. Now what Simon Says? <gasps> Mars, look out! Everywhere I'm looking now, I'm surrounded by your embrace. Baby, I can see your halo. Hey, come on, open up, open up, there you go, come here, like that, huh, hey, come on peace, come on, open up, hey, there you go, good boy, now go on, get out of here. Hello? Who is this? You call me, buddy boy. Sorry, I must have called the wrong number. I'm trying to reach Aizawa Shota, but you probably wouldn't give me that in- Oh, Mr. Aizawa, that's my teacher. You want to talk to him? I, I do. I do want to talk to him. Will you give me his number? Yeah, but you probably won't be able to reach him. He's always busy. That's fine. I'll push my luck. Yeah, yeah, no, I got you. His number is 1-800-PSYCH-AS-HELL. You tried it. You played it, boy. I know who you are. Come on, man. That's right, you burnt chicken nugget. You got the wrong one today. Mr. Azawa? Sorry, Denki. I had to take care of some things here. Uh, but go ahead and finish what you were telling me. Oh, wow. It's like a day later. You really want to know, huh? No, it's just that I am the teacher of Class 1A, so I need to know everything that's going on. 
Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll go with that. Well, anyway, while Todoroki is holding back Midoriya, right, Saru and Kirishima are holding Bakugo back. And Kirishima's all like, dog, you're not being manly right now at all. That I can believe. That sounds like something Kirishima would say. Yeah, and then, are you eating right now? Yeah, keep going. Uh, okay. Well, then, anyway, the whole time, Deku just starts clowning on Bakugo. He's like, hey, yo, Kirishima, get your dog. Get your dog. Do your Pomeranian bite. He really does look like a Pomeranian. Right? I said that, too. And then Bakugo, at this point, he is pissed. So he punches out. Guess what? Punches Kirishima right in the face. Boy didn't even harden. No, that's his best friend. I know, Mr. Azawa. Kirishima walked away. Now he's pissed, all right? Sarah lets go of Bakugo. He's like, hey, do you, man? All right, so at this point, Bakugo lunges over at Deku. He pushes Todoroki away, and he starts rolling around with Deku. And then out of nowhere, Mr. Azawa, Deku starts flying. All right, that boy is up in the air. What? He is flying, Mr. Azawa. He is zipping and zooming up in the air. Deku can fly? <laughs> Apparently so, but Bakugo is not far from behind, all right? He's using his little blast, and he's going right after Deku. Thank you. where were you when all of this was happening? I skedaddled myself on one of them fake mountains because I was trying to film the whole thing and also I was not going to get involved with their shenanigans, alright? That is none of my business. Anyway, what happened after that? Well, after that, I guess Ida called Midnight because she came in and she put them boys straight to sleep and they fell all the way from that 100 foot ceiling down to the floor. Tuh, I heard they broke like timbre. Well, let's be honest, that's nothing for Deku. Okay, look at you with this shade, Mr. Azawa. Wow, Midnight's so reliable. Mm-hmm. I don't know why Snap called her a floozy. He did what now? Oh, you ain't heard?